Dr. Martin Hickey, CEO of New Mexico Health Connections, thanks for sitting down with us. Happy to be here today. You've worked as a doctor, you were the CEO of Loveless in the 90s. What made you decide to join this startup, New Mexico Health Connections? It's a new company, it's doing things a little differently. Well, actually, uh, before I started in the role, uh, there was a founding board. Uh, several members of the community came together and applied for a grant. And interestingly, uh, they told me that the name was going to be New Mexico Health Connections. And I said, do you really mean the health part? And they said, yes. And I said, you know, that's very different from usual health plans because we really are emphasizing health in that name and the connection to health, not just acute illness and so forth that people associate health plans with, but health. And it's a co-op. What does that mean? Uh, a co-op uh, means that our members elect the majority of the members of the board who have to be members of the uh, health plan. So we are really consumer directed and consumer focused. Now we hear sometimes about nonprofit health insurance. How is, what does that mean to you and, and how New Mexico Health Connections works? Well, under the law that created it, the Affordable Care Act, nonprofit means that we have to take our profits by statute and return them back to the benefit of our members, either in lower premiums, more benefits, or higher quality care. So that's what it means for us. Now, do other company, health insurance companies have to do that? Uh, I don't believe those are in their bylaws, no. <laughs> and open enrollment is starting now. Uh, yes. People will be able to enroll for insurance coverage next year. One of the things people have been worried about is that Blue Cross Blue Shield decided to exit the exchange in 2016, and New Mexico Health Connections has said that you will be ready to take on those patients. How do you know that you can take on all of them? Blue Cross Blue Shield said that they lost money and that's why they had to exit, that some of those um, people that they provided insurance to were more expensive than they originally predicted. Well, uh, first let me say uh, uh, my heart goes out to the people who have to go through the confusion of having to re-enroll. It, it, it's, it's pretty anxiety provoking, but in fact, I, I think people are gonna find that it's not as big a deal as, as they might have thought it was. Our network and the Blue Cross network are virtually identical. So are people gonna have to change doctors? That's usually what they ask. And, and I, by and large, I, I don't see that any of them really will have to do that. So uh, we actually, we, we've been growing. We're 35,000 strong, which for two years in a health plan startup is phenomenal. And we have all of our infrastructure in place. So it's, it's a matter of bringing on more people to uh, do what we do best, and that's uh, drive health care management. And uh, we've got them hired up. And also people to be able to answer the phones and uh, take care of people's questions and needs. So uh, we certainly welcome the opportunity. Uh, again, though, I'm, I'm sorry that their members are gonna have to go through this. But do you think they'll be as expensive as Blue Cross Blue Shield said they were? Well, you know, if you, if, again, we have a, a, a different approach. Um, we are a health plan, but we're really a plan for health. And there's a big difference in that. So as they come and as we get to know them and their illnesses, uh, our uh, forte is really managing health care to get the individual to the highest level of health that they can be. What's that mean? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, easy to say, but can you really do it? So our benefits, there are no co-pays for chronic disease uh, generic drugs. That's asthma, diabetes, hypertension, so on and so forth. There are no co-pays for behavioral drugs. And uh, the first three visits in most of our plans in primary care are free, and the first three visits to behavioral health are free. So when you can bring people in and you work with them to say, hey, let's take you and get you to your highest health status possible because guess what you and me we're all going to get chronic disease so, you know it's just it's part of life so but how do you stabilize it and maintain it and that's the art of medicine 
that we bring to our patients. So we will bring that to the Blue Cross patients. And if we have been as successful as we were in the first year where we got a lot of sick people, pent up demand, uh, we have some of the best health quality outcome statistics in the country. So we welcome him and uh, probably say, welcome to better health. <laughs> the Affordable Care Act is, is what the, um, your company was created out of, this exchange in New Mexico was created out of. What's working with the Affordable Care Act for New Mexicans right now? It's really brought lower prices in health care. You know, competition, competition's America, right? Competition is a wonderful thing, and we are so happy to compete. You know, back in the day when I was at Loveless and Presbyterian, we used to really compete. Very friendly competition, but I think we brought better health care to New Mexico when there was good, intense competition. Well, competition also affects pricing. So the fact that we're there on the market, the fact that we get a little bit of advantage in being not-for-profit because we don't pay federal taxes, but, you know, some of the others don't either. Uh, but it's this focus on health and keeping people as healthy as possible. That brings us the difference, which allows us to bring a lower cost. If you're taking your meds most of the time, you don't end up in the hospital. We notify every patient who's on a chronic med or a behavioral med after their 30-day usual fill is up. And if they haven't been to the drugstore to get the next 30-day supply, we actually know it. it. It works through a national system. And we call them. If we need to, we go out and talk to them in their homes. And if absolutely necessary, we'll drive them to the pharmacy. So when you do that, it leads to many less hospitalizations and lower costs. So to go back to your question, what has the Affordable Care Act done? It helped bring us into the scene. Number two, uh, by being here and focusing on keeping people healthy, there is ultimately less cost. And so the, our competitors have had to react to that. And so we have brought lower costs to New Mexico. Hmm. Some of the co-ops in other states have struggled, haven't made it, have had to shut down already. Uh, do you think that the financial future for New Mexico Health Connections is secure at this point? We are very strong. We are very different. Uh, I'm a physician. Uh, Dr. Mark Epstein uh, also uh, with me and, and some others and, and the people that I've just been so fortunate to hire who have worked at Presbyterian, Blue Cross, real pros in this business. Uh, we all came together and we said, you know, this idea of health is not just what we would like to do because we're doctors or in healthcare, but it's a great uh, business value proposition. And that allows us to uh, keep, keep the cost of care down. And what does success look like to you in the future? Let's say five years from now, um, would you be covering half of New Mexico, all of New Mexico, or how, how would you judge a successful outcome for the work that you're doing right now? Well, I, I, I could give you a pretty glib statement. Since I guess I said it once, I'll, I'll say it again, but it, it's it, perhaps an exaggeration. It's just that, you know, I don't want to scare my competitors. <laughs> And um, so, no, we're here. We're here to stay, definitely. We're not some little kind of blip around the Affordable Care Act. We are here to stay. We are here to drive true value-based competition, not only for costs, but for improving health. And uh, so in five years, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the horizon behind you. It's all there for us to enter into, and I think we'll be in, in five, six years in, in every product, we're already in every market, and we will grow and we will be robust. And again, you, you had mentioned the other co-ops. Uh, we're different than they are in our approach because of this health, and that has kept us very financially strong. I mean, we have wonderful cash flow, that's a business term, um, and our reserves are over a uh, there's, there's, a, there's a number called resource-based capital, but it's over a thousand percent when 300 percent is what's needed. You're saying what's different is this healthcare management that you offer to people who are enrolled? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, uh, again, I really want to emphasize we're not just another health plan. None, none of us came here just to be another health plan. We are a plan for health. We are here to differentiate, and we are here in that we hope that especially with the new rules of guaranteed issue where you can't underwrite your way out of problems anymore, 
then our competition is going to adopt what we do and become plans for health as well. And then that's better for all New Mexico. Dr. Hickey, thanks for sitting down with us today. Happy to do so.